Hi, this is Tudor Nick P, and this is Interjections 180. The interjection today is off Vita Sane. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. This interjection is usually used in English as a humorous way, you know, funny way, uh, to say goodbye or farewell. Yeah, you know, because we say goodbye all the time, so not just German, in other languages, sometimes we'll use the word for goodbye too. It just, you know, sounds a little cooler, sounds a little funny. It's a way to sound it, you know, make it sound a little different because we say this all the time. All right, this interjection comes directly from German uh, to mean goodbye, and more literally, it means until our reunion that we may see each other again. So, more closely, like in English, it would probably be closer to until we meet again or see you next time, a little bit like see you later uh, in that sort of sense. Uh, the use of Obita Zane is very formal in German. Okay. It is believed to date back to the mid 1800s. Okay, so we hear off Peter saying. That's another thing to kind of note is sometimes when you see any word that maybe originally came from uh, German, the W sometimes is pronounced a little closer to a V in English. So that's what that's why we say off Peter saying. Okay, good. All right, um, all right. We got three examples to show just how this is uh, used. Uh, you are off to Munich next week. Yeah, that's that's in Germany. Have a good trip. Auf Wiedersehen, you know, especially if it's something related to German, we might be a little more likely to use it to, you know, try to make it seem more suitable. Uh, one of the, one often hears Auf Wiedersehen in World War II movies that took place fighting against German soldiers. So that's one of the ways that it may have worked its way into English uh, even more, you know, is during these world wars or, or movies about world wars and things like that. Uh, and we he we heard it enough that we can just, you know, kind of repeat it and sometimes mix it into English. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could find this in a lot of English dictionaries. So, Auf Wiedersehen. See you tomorrow. All right. Again, that's just the way we may hear it used. Anyway, I hope you got it. Hope's clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.